everyone welcome back to my channel this video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can become a teacher in the uk in 2023 the whole requirements and the cost implication so if you are a teacher and you want to work in the uk and you are trained anywhere outside of the uk this video is for you if you know anyone that is a teacher that is interested in moving to the uk in 2023 make sure they know about this okay because it's a great opportunity i'm going to share all the details in this video and as a bonus to be sharing with you an agency that is currently recruiting teachers from a part of africa and it will also give us an insight on what you may be expecting from other agencies okay so make sure you watch this video to the very end so you will not have any questions in your head unanswered okay so without further ado give this video a thumbs up and let's get it thank you so much for always coming back for your support i appreciate you if you're new here and you're seeing this face for the first time my name is linda Eze. i'm a registered nurse and i currently live and work in the united states here i share information on how you can work study and thrive abroad so if you're here to join the family make sure you join the family because i believe you'll find the information i share here very useful okay so if you're yet to watch my video that i talked about how you can check your whether you are eligible to to teach in the uk that video is very detailed you find it very useful so when you finish watching this video you might want to watch that video because it will give you a clue on what you need to do if you don't want to write ielts and you want to use other means to um make sure that you meet the requirements okay from yesterday the first of february the uk added some countries so that they'll be able to use their new system to determine if they meet the requirement to become a teacher in the uk if they are trained outside of the uk okay so which is really cool some of those countries you have nigeria you have india you have ghana you have singapore you have south africa you have zimbabwe and so one of these agencies i'm going to talk to talk about at the end of this video is actually from one of these countries and i believe you'll find it very interesting so if you're, if you're from all these countries that have been allowed ghana india jamaica nigeria singapore south africa zimbabwe in addition to all these other countries that they have been allowing to use the service so what you need to do is just go to that website and then click on start now and then you will see these two options have you used this service before you can say no i need to check if i can apply so if you have all those requirements i talked about in the previous video you just come on here and then you go and say i want to know whether i should apply they will not ask you um you will need to show that you completed your teaching qualification in the in the country that you selected so the first requirement is that you have a teaching certificate you in nigeria or ghana any of those countries right and then you say continue so um your teaching qualification must have been completed in the country where you are recognized as a teacher to be eligible for qts so that's the second requirement qualification gained from other countries should not be included in your application so if you gain your teaching certificate um certificate or whatever qualification from nigeria then we say yes or no so i'll say yes and then continue your degree should in could include your teaching qualification or it could be a degree in another subject okay so you say yes and then they say are you qualified to teach children between 11 years and 16 years so if you are qualified you also say yes i'm going to say yes and then does your teaching qualification or university degree qualify you to teach one of the following subjects okay math science biology chemistry physics french german and all these languages they, they want language teachers okay all those people that studied languages in nigeria and all these countries here is an opportunity for you and then if a science teacher here is an opportunity for you so i'll just say yes okay so these are the main people they want the next uh, qualification is we need to know how long you have been employed as a teacher since you completed your teaching qualification so i will say um nine months to 20 months okay so i uh, will continue do you have any sanctions or restriction i'll say no then you are eligible to, then they said you are eligible to apply for, for this okay and then what they are going to ask you for so all the requirements are here you don't need to ask anybody and they will start asking you to pay this and pay that this information is here guys please do not give your money to anybody telling you to like let them help you to prepare 
all the information you need is in this video is in this website okay so what they need is proof of identity your passport birth certificate national id card you can use any of those but if you ask me i'll say get a um it means you can start the process right without international passport but that is the recommended one because when it is time for you to travel you do need um you need a travel document which is the international passport right so and the next one is your proof of qualifications so you will need your certificates your transcript and then they said if that qualification is equivalent to level six but it's not a degree you must also be able to provide evidence that you have that you hold a separate degree we need to understand the level to which your qualification so this one you will need to and verify with UK and UK. they are the ones a body a recognized body in the UK that helps to compare international um, certificates to that of the UK certificate so if you have not done that this is an important step okay so and then the next one is proof of English you do need there are so many ways you can prove if you're born in an English speaking country or where English is their first language then you are exempted if you studied in an exempt country then you are exempt and if you studied in a country that's not exempt then if your teaching qualification or university degree were, was taught only in nigeria and you know you studied in english exclu exclusively which is the case then you can write your, your your school can actually write that they used english to to teach you okay and many people get this certificate from their school and the next one is yeah, if you cannot provide one of the documents described in one, two, or three, do you need a B2 level secure English language test from one of these approved providers like IELTS, language certificates, PSN, PSI, Trinity College, London? So, this is really cool, guys. You do not even the ENIC. The thing is that when you are applying for your ENIC as to um, verify your document, it's good for you to use the visa and nationality service so that one will both certify that you can speak english and that your degree is equivalent to the uk so and if you still don't want to use any but at the end of the day any is still part of the process right so at the end of the day you will still do any so it's better you do that one that has both the english and the, the certifies that your degree is equivalent to that of the uk right and Apart from that, you know that your medium of instruction, which you can get from your university or from higher institution, can actually serve as a proof of English. And then the next one is that you need to prove that you're a recognized teacher. So a recognized teacher, I believe, is you need to provide a, a letter of professional standing from the Teachers Registration Council of Nigeria, right? Because we are using Nigeria as an example. So you should request it by emailing this is the government of Nigeria that you can request for a letter of professional standing. So you cannot send this document yourself. Instead, you must contact the Teachers Registration Council of Nigeria and ask them to send it directly to apply QTS verification at education.gov.uk. So at the end of the day, um, the Teachers Registration Council of Nigeria will now send that document to the UK for you. And then the documents must confirm that you completed the teacher's training, that you successfully completed any period of professional experience, that your authorization to teach has never been suspended, and all of that. I believe this will cost you 60000 We are going to do a cost breakdown, so stay with me. So so next is proof of work history right so this one you will need to show you have been employed as a teacher in a school for one uk school year that is nine months of active teaching time or more since becoming a recognized teacher so you need a six months experience after you have uh, finished your teaching degree or you got your license to practice as a teacher in your home country so they'll say they will contact the references you've provided so you do need a reference a work reference and um your work history we have to show that you have um worked with children aged between 5 and 16 years and that you planned you prepared and delivered lessons this will give you a clue of what you need to put when you are applying for this so as a teacher with more than one year of professional experience but less than two years you will need to complete a two-year statutory induction period as a newly qualified teacher so this is the link for you to learn more about that then the next one is if you did not study in english then you need to provide translation like 
our friends from India and some other countries that they teach in other languages, you will need to provide a translation, okay, so that they will be able to understand your transcripts and all. So, um, they, they also talked about the details of all of that. So, guys, these are the things that they need. These are the things that they need. Let nobody make you believe that you need to pay them for them to show you the requirements and all. So now the cost implication, we are going to do like approximate value because people are watching from different countries and this is an example for Nigeria but then you remember that the school and everything where you are will be different. So but it's for you to have a clear picture of what you need to get ready because even if you get sponsorship you will still need to get all these things ready. So for proof of identity, if you, have, if you don't have international passport yet, if you have have it then this is not for you but if you have if you don't have international passport i believe you will need to have up to 35,000 nigerian naira to 50,000 nigerian naira for you to be able to get your international passport and remember maybe like traveling to the place or apply for you to get to where you are and all of that so i would say 50,000 nigerian naira for for um the proof of identity and then the proof of qualifications remember we are talking about um, comparing your your qualification to that of the uk so if you're applying to uk any and the last time i saw is 45 dollar 45 pounds so 45 pounds in you in nigeria will be around 20 something thousand nigerian naira right so around that 2020 20, between 20 and 25 depending on the exchange rate and all of that so you now have twenty five thousand for proof, and then you have um, fifty thousand already. And remember, for you to also get that comparability service with Enic, you will need to send your transcript. So how much do, does transcript cost in your own school? For my school is between fifteen thousand to twenty five thousand. So that means to um, the proof of the proof of um, qualification alone, the Enic your transcript if you don't have your certificate at all you will budget another fifty thousand nigeria naira that is hundred thousand gone so for proof of identity and for proof of qualification hundred thousand naira um hundred thousand nigeria naira okay so the next one is your proof of english so if you are using any as well for your english that means you don't have to worry about this proof of English here because your certificates that you get for your proof of qualification will stand for you but if not and you want to get your medium of uh, let's say medium of instruction for instance maybe your school will charge maybe five thousand ten thousand so that is a hundred and ten thousand okay so and then um the next one is proof of work history so the proof of work history this actually depends on you like um if your if your school will need you to do some applications from us nurses, you need to apply to your school and you need to pay a certain amount for them to process it and send to maybe NMC Nigeria. So for this one as well, maybe your school will charge something, usually maybe twenty five thousand to fifty thousand and maybe sixty thousand sometimes it's even up to a hundred thousand right and then they need you to at the end of the day that you go through the TCRN right we saw it somewhere um proof that you are recognized as a teacher in your school so when you apply to your school for them to send that your document your license or whatever to trcn so trcn is the teachers registration council of nigeria just like nurses right so if you are sending your documents to them as well that is money and then the the tcrn as well they also charge seed um sixty thousand right so assuming your your school charged forty thousand and your this one charged sixty thousand that is hundred thousand again gone so you have two hundred and something on the run so at the end of the day proof of history as well maybe you will not need all these ones at the end of the day this might be just your document that you have gathered you already have this one and you have already sent to tcrn so at the end of the day 250 for anyone that doesn't have the passport you've not done the comparability i will say you budget at 50 because maybe we need to travel and remember this is just part of the journey right so if all these ones you will need to gather your documents compare your documents and all of that will take you 200 and above let's say we are budgeting 250 000 nigerian naira 
for this particular one okay so we are also going to come to apply it for kids here so now you already have all of this and they will not you will not come back here to apply for QT yet. what I can say about this one is that so many of the employers might want to like I, I already talked about this uh, at length in that last video but so many of the employers might want to be the one to sponsor your QT yet. so once you have all these basics and then you get you are lucky to get a job with an employer that may want to cover the expense of your QTS or you get your QTS when you have already got a job in the UK and then you work towards getting your QTS okay so I'm going to leave the link to the three videos I've made about this so you understand this clearly so and another thing another part of the cost that we have not talked about is the travel right so so many um, uh, so many agencies these days they don't want to sponsor all that but some we believe we'll find some that will want to sponsor the travel and all of that. But remember, you still need to do your police report. You need to do your health check as well. Those background check that you need to do in your home country. The vaccination, if needed, you will need to do all of that. And that costs money. For the police report, from 20000 you budget that. The health check, you also budget like 50000 to 100000 to that. And then for uh, the traveling... Um, the airfare, you have to budget all of that. The immigration health surcharge, just in case you get an employer that wouldn't want to sponsor all of that. Okay, so you also bear that in mind. So we have the 250, we have about 100,000 for the background check and for the health check. And then you have the travel just in case how much it will cost you. You just Google from your home country how much it will cost you to travel from your home country to the UK. And then immigration health surcharge at this time and um, the insurance at this time okay so you see they have we have three parts so to make it clear not just that this is an opportunity for you for you to get ready these are the things you need to get ready i really believe that this is very helpful because a lot of people have asked me questions after my last video it's an explicit that is if you don't know anything about teaching in in the uk i think this will give you a very good guide okay so lastly thank you so much for watching to this point i'm going to show you that company that is already asking their people to come with them and what they are willing to offer so that i found on indeed the name of this company is called um, um tops day nurseries so this tops day nursery the salary is 22,000 pounds per year and it's full-time permanent and it is three years um three year visa sponsorship contract so this is not like i'll post this a lot of people will go and apply and then they'll remove it and say you're not sponsoring and they'll be like oh she said that they are sponsoring and they're not but you can see it with me right now online today that three years visa sponsorship now what they are willing to offer say where various locations in the south of the uk hours full-time permanent monday to friday 40 hours per week salary 22,000 per year equal to um and this i'm sorry for my people and from some other people in ghana and india this is um from south for people from south africa but i'm sharing this for you for you to see what could start coming up from now that this is now live okay so they need a degree in education that is a level five nqf or above a minimum of two years teaching experience evidence of math and english qualifications passports okay passport and never have been refused a previous visa so they said please do not apply for this position unless you meet all the criteria of course if you have the basics almost all the jobs you'll be able to qualify but i know the experience is going to be different even though the uk will say okay apply for qts if you have nine months some of these companies will say oh no we want more than that so yeah um so they said all successful candidates will be subject to further safety checks of course if you're interested in traveling to the uk live and work with us for three years then please express your interest by applying and sending us copies of your qualifications and certificates so they said you'll be responsible for the cost of your visa and then including the visa application biometrics nhs cover qualification check tb test that is why i said i need to make this video so that you don't have any questions these are the things you need to do you will also be responsible for arranging your own flight and travel so guys this is 
what you will start seeing and I'm going to because of based on all the questions people around me that want to use this opportunity I'm really really just like the healthcare assistant just with visa sponsorship sometimes I feel very terrible when I start seeing all this calm and all of that online like people taking advantage of people online telling them to pay things I get discouraged to share these things but if I see these opportunities, I'll keep sharing because I know it will definitely help someone. I hope you found this video helpful. Please, I need you to like this video so that people will see this opportunity. If you have watched up to this point and you are yet to subscribe, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you. Just up, um, subscribe. Let us go through this journey together. Ask your questions in the comment section. I'm going to leave the links to all of this in the comment section as well so you have access to them. Let me know what you think, what you want me to share more. You want me to find these jobs. You want me to um, you know, search for these jobs with you and all of that. Let me know. I will try to make out time so that we can make sure that a lot of people take advantage of this opportunity. So thank you so much for watching and watching till the end. I wish you best of luck and I pray that you have and get what you want for this 2023. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video.